Ladies and gents, to Elk vs. Armored Core 2, the final session of Elk vs. Armored Core 2, in fact. And uh, we've still got quite a bit to do. Now, before we get further underway, I'm going to uh, take the rest of this video to show you uh, the various parts we left behind. And then we're going to jump into our first, uh, one of the first missions we didn't take way back when. So, uh, let's go ahead and go find the rest of those parts. So, the first part we're going to be getting, and probably the most straightforward of them, is here in the mission escort train. Tail. I'll be arriving soon. Uh, the part is hidden in the second to last compartment of the train. Uh, the catch is, as soon as you obtain the part, you fail the mission. So... Depending on what you want, it's not really worth getting at this point. I mean, maybe you might come out ahead a little bit, but... Keep in mind, your primary objective is to guard the train. The part itself is a back booster. It shoves, it gives you a quick shove backward if you're up in melee range. You destroy this car right here, and the part's right inside. And uh, it's only really useful if you're a close combat right, fighter, which isn't really recommended in Armored Core 2. As soon as you pick it up, like System I said, System switch to normal mode. you might come ahead a few hundred credits, maybe, if you sell this thing, but it's not going to be all that much. And really, it's not a very useful part in general. Might as well just wait until the end of the game to get it. Okay, this is another one that's fairly straightforward, and this is in the mission Destroy Radar Base. And basically, in one of the same containers you found the part in Infiltrate Radar Base, uh, is going to be another part. And I'm not unsure what it is. It's in this one right here. And it is in fact the, a back missile launcher, which is actually a very useful part which you will see me use. Uh, a couple times in getting the next few parts and in the fi and in the footage to follow. You don't have to complete a mission as soon as you get a part, so you can feel free to quit the mission. You'll come out in the red in credits, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is the first kind of tricky one. I knew there was a part in this mission, I just didn't know where. And uh, the first time I went through, I kind of floundered a bit before just deciding, screw it, and uh, moving on. We've arrived at the target area, commencing AC drop. So yeah, it's easy to get distracted in this mission. There are tons of enemies everywhere, tons of MTs. Oh god, look at that snow texture. Uh, there's the missile launcher we just picked up. It's actually a very useful weapon. Uh, there are tons of enemies everywhere, tons of targets you need to hit, tons of airborne units. It's oh, and there's the the terrible looking snow filter. I have to admit on the screen. MT platoon of unknown origin. They're probably the enemy. Destroy them all. I thought that it, I knew it had something to do with some of the debris lying in the level. I just didn't know what the hell it was until I boosted all the way over here. And there's a bit of debris wedged into the wall, and there's the airborne units being annoying, as always. It's right here. So you destroy this, and inside is an optional part that increases the attack or defense of the left arm. Uh, a left arm blade or a left arm shield, whatever you happen to have equipped there. And uh, I briefly mull over whether or not I want to actually continue with this mission or just quit, because I'm pretty annoyed at this point. I spent a while trying to figure out where the fuck this thing was. Like I said, it's kind of information overload. There's so much happening in this mission. There's the weird, there's the bad snow filter on the screen that gives me a headache just looking at it. Um, it's just, ugh. But yeah, I eventually decide just fuck it. 
Okay, this next part is fucking painful. Not only is it in a mission that is so excruciating to go through, but it's hidden in a very, 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 very hard to find place. This level is a maze of green buildings. And in the constant um, and in the constant chaos of fighting these guys and all their cronies, it's hard to spot where this thing is. You're going to be constantly on the move. You're not going to know where the hell it is. Chances are you're not going to find it until after you've beaten the game. Or at least after you af until you have some damn good parts. I couldn't find this thing. It took so many fucking tries to find this thing. I was so pissed off that I eventually went to a look for an online guide. And even those weren't any help. There was an online guide that told me to look around for a bunch of buildings. It's in the middle of a fucking city! Of course it's next to a goddamn building. Another t guide told me to search along the walls, which I did, and it turns out it's nowhere near any of the fucking walls, so I don't know what the hell he was smoking when he wrote that FAQ. So you're he seeing me check the map constantly, and the reason for that is I finally found a guy that gave me the damn near exact coordinates of where this fucking part is. And now I'm going to read those coordinates out to you. They are X minus 2, 6, Z. Y, 15. Z minus 2, 43. The parts are there. <laughs> A little bit of rage shooting uh, while I'm scrambling looking for the part. Kind of losing hope that I'm going to find it because, uh, well, at this point I'm not really in my right mind anymore. <laughs> I've, I had been playing this mission so many times trying to find this one fucking part and these two ACs are, just attack you like rabid dogs. Just the moment the mission starts, they are on you and it's, ugh. I'm just struggling to orient myself. I don't care about beating this mission. I just want to get the part and leave. They can do whatever they want. Just let me go. But you see me keep checking my coordinates, and eventually I do find it. The man's coordinates were f fairly spot on. So yeah, just keep checking. Just If you want to find this thing, keep checking your map. Keep checking where the hell you are check your coordinates. I will post the coordinates in the description. I will post them there. There they are. Right effing there. The orbit cannons. These are a very powerful part that uh, if you can actually get to them in your first playthrough, which I doubt, uh, they will actually prove incredibly effective in the arena and that's something I will demonstrate later. Right now I choose... I decide whether or not I want to have a little bit of revenge on these two. Um, seeing as the missile ex I have the missiles and missile extensions and I can kill one of them fairly quickly but I eventually decide, fuck it. I've had enough of this mission. It's agonizing trying to find this thing with these two constantly sniping away at you. It really really pissed me off. Words just do not describe my mental state. And I was in the red but I didn't care. I didn't care at all. I damn near put down the game and stopped recording at this point. Our final part is in the mission Eliminate Leos Klein. Uh, this one is actually... I, I'm not going to say stupid, but it, it, it is kind of... It is a little bit frustrating. It's simple to find, but... You know, I was really kicking myself once I realized how easy this thing was and how easily I just sort of ble just blew past it. Uh, it's behind a door that requires a hacking function. There's one more door in the game that requires you to have a certain hacking function, and I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, or at least I couldn't get through it with the night eye. So, I'm fairly certain it requires you to have this head that I have equipped on blues right now. I'll go right back to the night eye because really hacking function is useless outside of the two doors required that you required it to um, open. But uh, this part is actually in the hallway just before Leo's Klein and there's actually several doors in this hallway. I love having to position myself next to a small control device to open a door. Thankfully Armored Core 3 doesn't do that. Um, 
So yeah, basically just follow the um, explosives. They'll lead you right to the hallway you need to go to. Now there are multiple rooms in this hallway and all of them require a hacking function to open uh, the doors to them. For example, there's a room right here. There's nothing in it. This boggled me for the moment. I was like, I, I brought the hack. I brought the head with the hacking function. Where the fuck's the part? There are a bunch of doors in here that you can't open. That that you can open, but um, they don't lead anywhere. They don't do anything. They're just empty rooms. And I have to wonder what the fuck these are doing here. Um, they could only be here to spite you. I thought shooting at the floor would do something. I was getting kind of angry at this point after what happened in Zeo City Suppression. But there's another door over here. And in here is this thing. This is a generator. In fact, I believe it's one of the better generators in the game. It's significantly heavier than the one I'm using, but uh, it has far better output. I'm not sure. I think its calorific value is less but its output is way better. I'm not going to use it very much, though. Uh, the generator I'm using right now is kind of in the zone for one of the best generators in Armored Core 2, and it, its weight is very low for the amount of performance it has, and I generally just stick with that. So, uh, yeah, that's the remaining hidden parts in the game. We are going to resume with the next mission. I'm not quite sure which it is. Uh, it's fairly early. Dis uh, move disorder units. That's it. And there's the part. The Hoi BV2500. A fairly good generator part, although I have better.